Hey guys, so today I'm filming my Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale haul video and I know that so many girls look forward to this haul. It's not just me. <laughs> that only happens twice a year. So there's one that happens around Christmas time in the winter and then there's one that happens around June or like early summer months. I personally like the selection better at Christmas time just because they just had like their value sets for pajamas and body lotions and creams and I feel like they're... They just had the Victoria's Secret fashion show previous to Christmas, so I feel like they still have all their like robes and, you know, stuff that they had on the runway in store, and that's what's kind of on sale. So I find that that's um, really nice, and their makeup bags are also so much more cute in the winter, I think. So I have a little bit from each category, other than beauty, I didn't really get any like lotions or anything, just because I feel like the deals for me, what I needed, weren't that great, but I mean, in the past they have been, so... Yeah, um, quick little run through before I kind of, actually you know what, I'm going to get into the stuff first. I've been to a few Victoria's Secret semi-annual sales and this one I think has been the best experience for me so far, just product wise, price wise, um, and like selection. So the doors opened at 8am and me and my mom were right at those doors, ready to attack. So let's get started with what is in the bag. So I took out all the, um what's called tissue paper because that's really crinkly and noisy. So let's just get started. Okay, so I'm going in no random order. I'm just picking things out of the bag because it's so crinkly and I just, I think that's the easiest. So the first thing I got was this t-shirt and it's so simple. It just says Victoria's Secret on it and it's like a heathered gray, a light heathered gray. Um, I think it has that burnout material. So, I mean, not material, style. So you can kind of see your bra through, but whatever. So it's kind of a little bit shorter in the front and longer in the back. It's a little bit slightly cropped, um, but I mean, it's still wearable. And I just like live in t-shirts and sweatpants. It's all I wear when I'm not, actually, I was gonna say it's all I wear when I don't go out, but I mean, when I go out, I'm normally in sweatpants as well. So this shirt I got in a size medium and it was originally $32.50 and I got it for $9.99. So thought that was a sweet deal for a Victoria's Secret t-shirt, so I got this. So the next thing I got were two pairs of sweatpants, one in one color and one in another, same style. I love the fit of these sweatpants. Um, I did get them in a large, which I'm not normally large in pants, but I thought that my size, which is usually like a medium for pants, it fit like snug in certain places that I didn't really want to fit snug, so the large was just perfect because I love the bagginess of them. So the first color I got were these coral ones, and on camera it's showing up so much more bright. It's not really that bright, it's more of like a salmon-y coral um, in real life, and it has this like band that says Victoria's Secret, so I'm obsessed with this like style like the Calvin Klein bands and the Victoria's Secret ones. So these were originally $58 and I got them for $34.99 which I thought was not bad at all for their sweatpants just because you know they are kind of pricey but comparing it to like um, Roots which has amazing sweatpants it's around the same price $60 so they're super super soft. I don't know what material these are made out of but basically yeah, they look huge on camera but I like to roll them down. They have a little drawstring in the front so you can tie it if it's too loose and then it has pockets which are really nice because some sweatpants don't have that and that's I find really dumb because you're, when you're wearing like loungewear you kind of want to throw your phone in when you can into your pocket so they're like bigger here it has two stripes and then down the leg it says Victoria's Secret Angel so they're a little bit tighter at the bottom which I love I love the fit these can be worn really cute with like Uggs and a t-shirt or like that t-shirt I just showed you so I love those and then I got them in gray but funny story I totally thought these were gonna be the same price because you would think you know they're the same style just different colors but this one was full price and these are I forgot to say the jogger pant so same style with the band and you know loose here and then it gets like tight on the bottom and says angel across the leg this time okay so it's slightly different but literally the same pant and these were full price these were $58 and I didn't realize that till I got to check out and I already paid and I was like why is my bill so high and then I looked at the receipt and I was like holy crap these were not on sale but I mean I did put money aside for this sale so I kind of knew I was going to be spending you know a bunch of money on outer not outerwear I knew I was going to be spending money on loungewear because you know next year is going to be a college or university and I feel like that's all I'm going to be living in is sweatpants and yoga pants. So 
I decided not to go back to the cash and return them. First of all, the line was ridiculous, and second, I was like, you know, I'm gonna wear these ones probably more than the coral ones. So, yeah, these were $58, but they're really cute. Okay, then I just got a couple bras and a couple pairs of underwear just because I literally tried on, I kid you not, like 30 or 40 bras. Like, I filled up my whole basket, or not basket, like, bag thing that they give you, the mesh ones at the front, with bras, and I got to the change rooms, they're like, holy crap, like, this girl has so many bras, and I don't think anyone else had as many as I did, but I mean, I couldn't decide, and I was, like, debating between certain ones, so I was like, I'm just gonna throw them all in and try them on, so, the first one I got, I'm gonna do it up for you, uh, okay, it's this black lace bra with, like, a pastel pink underneath with a little bow right in the middle which I find so cute and then you turn it and it's like mesh polka dots which is adorable like oh my god I didn't think I'd like this but then I put it on and I was like oh my god I'm in love so the price of it originally was $58 and I got it for $30.99 which I mean some people think that the prices are still kind of ridiculous for Victoria's Secret for their sales but you know for the quality and you're getting like the name brand that's not a bad price at all especially because full price it's like so much more expensive so yeah I got this one and black's my favorite color as we all know so this is like super easy to match to underwear as well um, I just love the lace. It's so like, intricate and pretty. Ugh. Anyway, so I got that. And then I got this bra that I originally wasn't really like a huge fan of. I was like, you know, this is a really comfortable bra. It's super soft. Love the material, but not really loving the design. But now the design is totally growing on me. So this is how it looks. It's like this blue um, color and then it has like these green leafy sparkly things on them. And I mean, I thought it was kind of weird, but... It was originally $69.50. I think this one, yeah, this one has push-up. Yeah, this one has slight push-up. The other one does not have any push-up. And yeah, these are $69.50. And then I got it for $41.99, which was not bad at all. So it kind of has like a two-strap here and then obviously the adjustable in the back. So I find that really cute because, um, oh, I forgot to say, I like the closures in the back better than the front because I find the front ones really uncomfortable. Comment down below if you think so as well because I hate bras like that. I have a few and every time I have them on, just I regret it. I'm like 20 minutes into wearing it. I'm like, why did I decide to wear this bra today? It is so uncomfortable. Anyway, so I like the closures in the back, but I decided to stick with this bra because first of all, it is so ridiculously soft and I ended up finding the matching underwear with it. So I'll show you those real quick. They look like this. So it's kind of just like a G-string thing. And these were originally $24. I got them for $9.99. So really excited to wear that together. That's a cute little combo. Because um, I don't have a ton of like matching bra and underwear sets. So that's cute. And then I got just a simple, really, really plain thong, which was originally $12.50. And I got it for $4.99 and it's just like that same colored blue um, and it's also a g-string and then it has like a little gold circle on the back but these are really good to wear with like yoga pants and leggings because you don't see like your panty lines at all because there's literally no material uh, as opposed to these next ones I'm going to show you so I got these you know I'm obsessed with this band it says Victoria's Secret they're black lace and these were more expensive oh wait no they're not it says $4.99, but I swear on my receipt they charged me $10. Well, that's not good. Okay, anyway, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I have, like, love and hate relationship with lace underwear because I find that they could, depending on the lace, it could be really itchy to wear all day. But, I don't know, this lace seems a little bit softer, but this is how it looks like. I think they're cute kind of sporty and like sexy at the same time so I got those and that is everything I got from Victoria's Secret I know that was not a long haul at all but I kind of had to give myself a budget and tell myself what I needed what I didn't need um, especially because I was literally picking up makeup bags and pajamas and robes and I didn't need any of that I honestly just needed a few bras and like some loungewear so I'm glad I could control myself that way so my overall thoughts on you know, the whole kind of sale was, it was pretty good. The lineup to get in was not even a lineup. There was like 10 of us waiting outside. We got in when doors opened at 8. Everything was like so perfectly put out. Nothing was messed up yet because it was the first day that we went. Um, their sizes for bras and underwear were great. Their loungewear was great. But I didn't necessarily like their like bikini selection. Okay, so they had like an okay selection on their bikinis, but they had like way more like a huge amount of bikini bottoms and styles and sizes but then they didn't have like 
the matching tops in the sizes to the bottoms. Like, do you know what I mean? So there was like these huge sizes or super small sizes that not majority of the population is. So like no one would be buying the bikini tops, but they'd be buying the bottoms. So I know that a lot of people like to get like one pair of bottoms and like a solid color and then match different bikini tops to it. Um, I personally like to match them together. Like I like to have the same print or same solid color together. So I don't know, I wasn't super impressed with that. The prices weren't amazing for the bathing suits, but I mean for like the bras and the underwear, um, the makeup cases were great. Like the, some of the makeup bags were like $24, $25 and they are on sale for like $5, $10, which is great. Um, they had some lotions on sale, some robes, their pajamas sets so it wasn't super crazy or hectic there was enough employees that you could kind of walk around ask questions and talk to um, and get sized if you needed to like right on the spot so that was really helpful the weight for the change room was not bad at all as long as you kind of like did your shopping and went right to the change room which is what I did there was no line but by the time I got out of the change room which is probably like a half an hour to 40 minutes later there was a huge line building so um, yeah definitely my a recommendation for this type of thing event is to go on the opening day if you can um, just because stuff gets obviously picked over and you know things get kind of ruined as they're tossed around um, but the only thing about waiting to go later on in the week for the sale is prices are usually reduced which is awesome because I mean if you're paying $40 for a bra you could be paying 30 or 25 which is a nice chunk of money knocked off that bra so yeah those are my overall thoughts I had a good experience um, my mom didn't buy too much when she went with me she just brought matching like bra and underwear so I mean there's definitely something for like everyone and every like teenage girl pink by Victoria's Secret also had their sale obviously because they're like combined together um, but I found that pink didn't really have as much as many items as I was looking for, like I thought they would actually have a better selection for sweatpants, but they didn't really have them in the styles and the sizes that I needed. So I found that I was like picking stuff up and then I was like, well, this doesn't, this is not going to really fit me. So I put it back down. Um, but I felt like their underwear prices were better and... I think they had, did they have workout wear? Yeah, they definitely did a workout wear as well. So, I don't know. I didn't really check prices on workout wear because that's not something I was super interested in. But I know that the Troy's Secret didn't have a, an amazing selection for, like, their sports bras and, like, prices for that. So... Yeah, um, I'm going to show you the last few things that aren't from the Victoria's Secret sale, but they're just from other stores I went to in the mall. So I had this random store credit for Aeropostale, or Aeropostale, I don't know how people say it these days, and I don't shop there, it's not really my favorite kind of style of clothing, but I had this store credit and I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to use it. So I went in and it was literally like $8 or something on the card, and I was like, what can I find? And literally everything was on sale, and there were so many cute things, like... I don't remember the last time I went into Aeropostale, but I don't remember being that satisfied with their, like, selection and the styles. I felt like it was very, like, teeny bopper-ish. But going in, I was like, this is grown from what it used to be. Anyway, um, so I went to the men's section because I think that the guys' t-shirts are cuter than girls sometimes. Um, and I picked this one up. It was originally $16, and... When I got to cash, it was around $7, but then I had an SPC card, which is like a student discount card in Canada. I don't know if they have that in the States. Um, so it was another 10% off. So I literally got this shirt for like $6, which is great. They didn't have my size. They had a ton of like extra larges and mediums and like extra smalls or extra extra smalls. I need a small. I just settled with the medium because, I mean, it's a t-shirt. It's a, allowed to be baggy. And it just looks like this. It's just black and has floral and it says BC. Yeah, BC. I don't know what that even means or stands for. I think it's just like their brand I'm assuming so Brooklyn Calling that's what it means and that's their brand <laughs> okay so yeah that's what I got and then I went to Sephora because um this video is gonna be posted after New Year's but I needed a gold glitter for my eyes because I do have a silver one but my gold one from Hard Candy broke so I was like oh, I need a new one I went to Walmart and they were sold out of all their glitters I was like of course because it's near New Year's and they're dirt cheap and they're great like quality for the price you're paying so I went to Sephora not wanting to pay like $30 for one but Makeup Forever has like little loose um what are they called diamond powders and they're like 30 bucks but since they're a loose product you can ask for a sample and that's exactly what I did so I got two and it's just a gold color so I'm definitely going to be playing around with this I'm really excited um as opposed to spending $30 I thought that that was a good deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you went to the sale and if you got any amazing purchases. Um, or if you filmed a haul on your channel, let me know. I want to watch it because I like to see kind of what is at everyone's different Victoria's Secret where they live. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.